Ashley. I'm a JCI grad and instructor. Today I'm going to show you how to do a quick makeup look inspired by Tomb Raider. I'm mixing a two-part silicone. It's called third degree. It has to be mixed in equal parts. And you can sculpt this into any wound you like. Okay, I'm going to take some of the third degree and sculpt two lines that connect together to create one wound. I'm going to take the same product, my third degree silicone, and create the same effect on the chest area and some long scratches. Now that I have my cuts, I'm going to wait 5 to 10 minutes for my third degree to set before I paint. Okay, I'm going to add some clear liquid latex from Kryolan onto the skin for a peeled and dry skin effect. I'm going to step on my clear liquid latex with a latex sponge onto the skin, angling my motion to make sure you don't get any harsh edges. I'm going to wait for that to dry in between layers and then powder. Once your liquid latex is dry, I'm going to go ahead and add the second layer of liquid latex on top of where you last placed it to add more strength. Before I powder, I'm going to go back and forth with my finger onto my latex area and peel so I can see the latex piling up on itself so I get some good peeled skin effects. Now that my latex and my third degree are both set, I'm going to go ahead and set both of them with clear powder. This will help reduce any shine that we see and to help make the product last longer. I'm going to take my Skin Illustrator palette in the effects tone and I'm going to use a prime red and blood tone activated with 99% alcohol and paint my inside of the wounds. Put orange and prime yellow together to lighten the inside of the wounds because it is a fresh cut. I'm going to stipple around the wounds with my stipple sponge so I don't have any harsh edges. Going back to my effects palette with my chip brush to spatter around my wounds. I'm going to use my effects palette in the color grunge and use din and muddy waters to put dirt all over the skin. using a blending brush with 99% alcohol to blend out any um, harsh lines that I do see with any of the dirt that I placed on from the Skin Illustrator and blending in a buffing motion, circular motions. I'm taking my Ben Nye Ultimate Effects Palette in a deep red tone to add some scratches with a black stipple sponge. to have a completed look so I'm going to go down the arms and the hand area to have a complete makeup look. 